Reach buggies, ATVs and electric bikes used by Ukrainian army pose serious problem for Russians. The Wall Street Journal has written that Ukraine is using beach buggies, ATVs and electric bicycles at the front because these vehicles are quieter and harder to see and hear. This gives soldiers on the front line a better chance of avoiding Russian drones and surviving. The publication notes that the proliferation of reconnaissance and attack drones means that any movement near the front line can be detected in minutes. To avoid this threat, both Ukraine and Russia have been using a variety of small, quiet and maneuverable vehicles to deliver supplies, evacuate the wounded soldiers and sometimes even send troops into battle. The Wall Street Journal noted that these small vehicles were no substitute for traditional military vehicles. They lack the firepower and space to carry large numbers of people or cargo, and their lack of armor leaves everyone on board vulnerable. But these alternative means of transport fill a niche that soldiers on the front line say has become necessary. For the Azov Brigade soldiers fighting in the Kremina forest in Ukraine's east, smaller vehicles are essential for delivering supplies. An infantry commander, who goes by the alias Iraq, said that the men survive only thanks to the small vehicles because nothing else can get there in the forest and along these narrow paths. A frontline medic named Andri said he was constantly thinking about how to get the wounded defenders as quickly as possible without coming under Russian fire. He considered electric scooters, bicycles and motorbikes, but decided that the maneuverability of the unicycle was superior. It allows you to move over any obstacle, such as sand or mud, he said, adding that it could also accelerate up to 40 miles an hour. Electric bicycles are also occasionally used on the front line because of their discreetness. According to their manufacturers, they have the added advantage of generating less heat for radar and thermal images. Ukraine's defenders also use a range of different ATVs, including models from US manufacturer Polaris, Japan's Yamaha and various Chinese brands. Some of them can reach speeds of over 70 miles per hour. Travelling at high speeds over rough terrain makes them unstable and the lack of armoured protection makes drivers and passengers vulnerable to Russian fire. Russia's losses in the war in Ukraine as of the morning of Saturday, June 22, amounted to 1,110 occupiers, the total number of losses of the Russian army since the beginning of the invasion is 533,090 soldiers. In addition, the armed forces destroyed four missiles and eight tanks. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine said this in a post on Facebook. There is an intensification of hostilities in the Pokrovsk region, Kherson region and in the area of the Turetsky region. The occupiers have intensified their attacks to advance the offensive on Chasiv Yar from the south, which may aggravate the situation at the front. Unsuccessful attempts to advance near Kupiansk and Svatov were also recorded from the front, which indicates the lack of success in the actions of the occupiers. On the front during the day of June 21, 120 combat clashes took place, and the heated situation remains in the Pokrovsky direction. At the same time, the Russian occupiers intensified their assaults in the Kherson region, but they did not succeed there. As the Institute for the Study of War notes, the occupiers could intensify their attacks in the Torets direction in order to develop an attack on Chasiv Yar from the south. Also at the front, the advance of the invaders near Kupiansk and Svatov is recorded.